like to welcome everyone to episode six of our Educators Chat here on Strive. I'm Eric and Sarah, and of course, we've got Rod Havens from Aurora that's joining us for uh, today's episode. First of all, Rod, how are you doing? Um, I'm doing really well. Um, it, I've been talking to some people and we've talked about, you know, there's all of the, um, the talk about what we're missing and and there's a lot we've sacrificed a lot you know all of the activities the spring sports um and those sort of things but i've kind of been enjoying a little bit of a different pace you know we've got our um we've got our college uh, sophomore back home uh, for an extended period of time um gosh there have been more more um meals at the table than i don't I can't remember when we've actually sat down and, and, and cooked and done that like, like we've been able to do over the last few weeks. So um, yeah, there's, there's some times of worry. Um, like I was saying earlier, um, you know, my wife works in the medical profession, so there's some, there's some concern with that, but um, we're doing well here. Um, yeah. Time has become a different idea you know, days and hours, you know, I sit down to look at uh, working with um, some of my online classes with my freshmen and you look up and it's 11 o'clock mm -hmm. and there's just no point of reference. There's no bells. So um, that's unusual, but yeah. um, overall things are good uh, within the situation, what you're given. Not to mention, I was texting Rod probably what, 738 last night. Like, yeah. Hey, you uh, want to be on the educators chat tomorrow? <laughs> Here we are, and and that's another thing that I've I've noticed, Sarah, is um, when your office is at home or your home is your office, you can really get sucked into a lot more work time. Mm -hmm. And there was a, a week or two there where I was putting in a lot more than usual. And I just kind of forced myself at a, at a given time to, to close up the laptop and, and get back to, to me and family time, which, which you would do when you're, when you're leaving the school building. And, and teachers um, handle things differently. We bring things home all the time. But it's been a, a little more, uh, had to be a little more intentional about saving your time mm -hmm. versus, versus the work time. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me a little bit about Aurora High School and how you're connecting with your students in your classes. Um, I think it's kind of turning out to be whatever works best for the individual teachers. Um, some teachers, um, and, and that goes for everywhere, um, teachers are more technologically inclined and, and they're hitting this running they're um, they're using zoom sessions I've been doing some of those um, both live and recording those um, my son Jason is a uh, is a junior at Aurora and he's got a variety you know some that are just reaching out on Google classroom um, doing some discussions and posting uh, posting assignments that way, some doing live sessions and, and some recording. Um, I've kind of, I started off going with the Zoom sessions and getting all the kids in one room. Um, that almost seemed to get a little bit cluttered for me. So um, with my freshmen. So I've kind of transitioned the last week or so using Screencastify um to kind of record where we're reading with my freshmen we started in on um, the novel to kill a mockingbird oh. um, so that's that's changed some things on how i've approached that but it's kind of been um, interesting um, but just this morning i sat down recorded a session of about 20 minutes just hitting the highlights of what i want them to pull from about four or five chapters um, and then some discussion. I posted some Google Docs for them to ask their own questions. Um, it was really cool. Yesterday, I posted that um, document for kids to pose their questions for me, and then I would answer them on the next video um, that I recorded. Um, but when I got on to that document later in the day, I saw that um, on their own, students had started answering other students questions 
I hadn't posed that idea to them, but kids that had got on that document had seen some of those questions and, and just organically that that discussion started up. So that was really cool to see that that, um, that, that kind of happened on its own. And uh, I was telling a colleague of mine about that and she said, you know, if you had told them to do that, it probably wouldn't have happened. So yeah. um, it's just funny to see how things are evolving as we go through it. Yeah, the collaboration uh, yeah. that's available right now. That's really cool. Um, and a proud teacher moment for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's been interesting to see, you know, some kids you expect, you know, they're, they're good in the classroom. They're going to be good in, in, this, um, in this new age or new experience we're going through. Uh, some of the kids that struggle in the classroom are, are doing the same. You know, they're maybe not engaging as much. But what's been surprising to me is some of the switches. There's been some students who maybe don't engage as much in the classroom who are posting and responding and getting things done as soon as I get them posted. And then some of the other kids, you know, you would call your, your high flyers, the, the, the achievers, who this, for some reason or another, seems to be a struggle for them, that they need that... Um, they need that face-to-face -face interaction or something that uh, that that helps them thrive that that they're struggling with. Yeah, tell me more about the thought of of changing things. So, what what might you do differently in your classroom under the new normal? And grant, I mean the the different. You have lots of different classes. Mm -hmm. um, and I really like what you've shared and, and want you to continue to talk about that. Um, I guess it depends, the, the new normal now or the new normal whenever we get to see each other again face-to-face? Um, -face. Yes, thinking, you know, face-to-face, -face, hopefully in August. Um, I, we were just reading something the other day on our team that it's gonna look different. Um, but as soon, sounds... you know, come fall time, we can be back to, normal but will be different and if there's um just even the collaboration that you saw with the document and the students asking questions if there's anything else that might be um new for you that you're going to implement after this this time i think one of the things that kind of projecting ahead what i what i feel like might change for me the most is um using that screencastify to help kids when they are absent mm -hmm. um it might not be recording every every day but could i sit down um every other day or um, at the end of the week and and do a recap something like that um somehow implementing some of the video things to uh to help those kids that that aren't present in the classroom, and maybe it does turn into something where we could um, record what we're doing in the classroom. Um, I think um, some of the message boards, maybe we could use that, like that document that um, that I was talking about, getting that to to maybe. Yeah, grease the wheels a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah. Get get kids thinking about it before um, before we hit those um, ahead of time. Um, get the thought processes going and and really making the classroom more of a, a discussion time. Um, yeah, it, it's hard to tell what that looks like mm -hmm. in, in August, um, but it's not going to be the same. Mm -hmm. And still the biggest thing for, for teachers is the connections with kids, right? It's, uh, it's still making, you know, fostering that relationship and, and, uh, that's, that's different at this right, right at this time, right now, I guess in some ways we were fortunate that, you know, you had most of a school year to, to, you know, at least start that relationship you know, you talk about your freshman class, um, but the freshmen that start in the fall, are going to start on much different terms than what everybody else is used to. Yeah, and and it's 
teaching those freshmen, having them when they make the transition from middle school to high school, there's always that transition. And I really enjoy it, seeing them, seeing them change. Um, since we're on the block, I get them a semester at a time. So I'll have one group um, in the fall semester and then another group in, uh, in the spring semester, but seeing where they, where they start in, in August and where they're at in December, um, that's really cool um, at the freshman level. But trying to, if this is what the reality is, or um, I've heard some things about, are we going to start on, on part-time or smaller groups or some sort of graduated um, start? Um, how do you make those connections? You know, I, I know those kids' personalities and when we're on a Zoom chat or if we're making, uh, making connections on email now, I know, I know who I'm talking to, but that's a whole different ball game when, when August comes around. Um, hopefully we're able to look each other in the eye um, when that happens. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh, well, to wrap up here, um, Rod, do you have any thoughts that you would like to share with other educators? Um, you know, and I can't, um, I can't claim this idea. And yeah, that's a lot of education, anyway, isn't it? You you take someone's <laughs> i take someone's idea and you run yes. with it. Um, I saw something that I think it was on. Um, on Twitter the other day, people worried about, um, we're going to be behind. You know, my kids are going to be behind. Um, and the perspective uh, that, that this post put out there was, we are all missing things right now. So nobody is really ahead when we come out of this. Nobody's really ahead. Nobody's really behind um, unless we're um, judging ourselves on that that curve, that testing thing, you know, that, that's a whole nother set of judgments and, and, and bars that we have to jump over. But um, this is new for everyone and, and no one's going to be behind. We're all doing the best we can and um, don't try to do too much. You know, we can really overwhelm ourselves. There was that blizzard of every new thing you could do with this online delivery. Um, mm -hmm. And you could bury yourself with trying to do too much for yourself and your students. So right. um, just kind of stay in the course and doing what works for, works for you. But um, we're all kind of on the same path. 